guys, so it's Battle here and I've been in the studio making beats out of things that I recorded in the house. I took my Zoom recorder and yeah, I just had, had a load of fun. So I'll play the various clips now for you of me recording these samples and then I'll take you over to the beat and show you what I did with them all. So hope you like them. So, here we are, you heard all the samples, and they're pretty cool. So yeah, we start off with a microwave beep, and that's this sound. I'm sure you're all familiar with it. Awesome. So then what I did is, I put it into a sampler, um, and then I added a tuner, just so I knew what uh, the note was. You know, because I've got a good ear, but it, was, it wasn't so easy. I added um, some echo, dotted eighth notes. I also added uh, some tremolo, just some basic tremolo, make it interesting. I added some reverb and some channel EQ, sort of just taking away the highs. I added, this is this is the gain as well, just because it was quite a quiet sample. Uh, and I panned it, dubbed it, uh, and took it a lower octave for one of them. And this is what we came up with. Just a super, super, super cool sound. Uh, we also made a lead sound out of that sound too. Uh, that is this one here. What I did with that sample is I did a nice bit of overdrive, put it through a guitar amp, um, I added some delay and I messed around with the LFO and changed it to the filter cut off at 16th, messed around with the filter, which made it sound like that, which is sick. I took out a load of frequencies here because otherwise it was a little bit problematic, but other than that, yeah, it's pretty sick. I thought I'd mess around on the build up and add the Apple TV sound when you're changing uh, to a different channel. And that just sounds like this. I've not messed with that sound really at all. I just EQ'd it a bit. It just sort of works for the build up. And it's just a little bit cheesy really. Nothing more than that. Um, and then I guess we should go to the sofa kick drum, which sounds like this. So I dubbed it twice and one of them is the high kick clicky sound and one of them is lower. I added this plugin here which is called Back of the Dog. This is just really good at boosting different channel frequencies. Uh, I boosted it here at about the 80 and about the 4K. And then I added the Abbey Road TG Mastering uh, plugin which just gives it that super 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 tight kick drum sound that you really want that cuts through which is that. And then on the other kick drum, I've done the same with the back of Dog and the EQ, but I've took out a ton of the highs and focused this one on just being the bass, as you can hear here, much bassier. And all together, they just sound sick. It just gets me going. That is so dope. I then made hi-hats, as you can see, out of hitting chopsticks. Just a few hi-hat rolls as well. I added some water sounds from the tap. 
Ooh, it makes me need to wee. I then added a, a clappy snap sound from the blinds when I was closing them. I just sort of added a nice EQ on there, boosting it at the highs, taking out the lows. I then chopped an onion with a knife, which is sick. Which is I then sharpened a knife and I added a ton of reverb onto it and it sounds sick. Just add that back on there. So this just cuts right through. I added some delay and I added a massive uh, reverb sound to that as well. I then took a drink of water um, I opened some fizzy water, I should say, and this is what we came up with. And we get there. Sounds just like a shaker. And then after opening the bottle of water, I decided I was quite thirsty, and then I made a really cool um, sort of ah sound, and it just sounds sick. It sounds like this. Basically what I did is, I boosted it at the 1k where vocals sort of love, took out the lows, boosted a bit of high just to try and get a bit more of the elongated sound from the highs there and the reverb. And I think that is all the drums. Let me just show the 808s. Oh. That's I didn't use a sample um, that I recorded, I just found a sick 8 way that I've got in my uh, folders, just because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to find one that would fit. I've made a bass sound out of a coffee machine once, but I tried to add that one in and it just, it just didn't have enough weight behind it. Now, what we can do is play you a bit of the synth brass that I added in the background. I'll show you the lead guitar as well. And then all together it sounds like this. Yeah, that's the beat. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at battle.24, B A T T L.24. Uh, and yeah, go check out my other videos. This is my third video that I've made for YouTube specifically, but I'm going to be doing more. So if you do have any sick ideas for me, drop them in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.